Oppo is the guy they went to early in the Texas game last week, and a bad snap. Higgs loses it again, back in the end zone. Utah recovers. Touchdown, Utes. Derek Shelby with the loose ball recovery. And this is a problem Terrence Brown, the senior center, had against Ole Miss. Almost every snap in the Ole Miss game in shotgun was sloppy and to the right. They seem to have it cleaned up last week. This just misses by a mile. And then Heaps makes a bad mistake. He was trying to throw it away, but he never had a hold on the ball. Should have fallen on it. It's a safety instead of a touchdown. Bad snap. Bad job by the quarterback trying to clean it up. Just fall on the ball, take a loss, or... Fumble, Kazada coughed it up, and Utah recovers it. Michael Walker pounces on the loose ball, the second turnover of the game by the Cougars. Well, Utah last week gave up some chunk yards against USC, but the one thing they did very well was they had three takeaways in that ball game that gave them a chance to tie it at the end, and that was a nice low tackle by Chaz Walker. Got his pads down. You hear the word leverage a lot. Look how low Walker gets on this tackle. Kept his head up, hit with his shoulder pad. You can't teach it. I wouldn't be surprised for a fade here. Hands it off to the Luigi up the middle. And he's brought down at about the three-yard line, and there's a fumble, and Utah comes up with it again. The third turnover of the game by the Cougars. Joe Kruger with a big hit up front. This game feels so similar to USC for Utah defensively. They were at, at times, Utah was struggling, slowing down USC, but it seemed like every time they needed to make a turnover, they did, and that's an excellent job by number 92, Lutu Lele, star Lutu Lele, reaching in, knocking that out, but nice, nice play by the defender, but a reach in like that should not cause a fumble. That ball needs good in the first half, bad in the second half. If that happens here, they might get run out of their own building. Falsler fumbles it. Loose ball. Still loose. Utah recovers it. Touchdown, Utes. Wow. It's really going against BYU and turn around. An avalanche of turnovers. This one costly against Bronco Mendenhall and his crew. The fourth turnover of the night. And that was Mo Lee who ends up recovering. Yep. It was not fumbled. It was never possessed. Correct. No, this is the right call. Right. But not advance that ball. It will be the kicking steam ball at the spot where they recovered the, the ball, first down. This was an excellent job by Jack Wood, our referee, of explaining the rule. I thought that uh, Falslev had it for a half a second. He didn't. So that's a muff. You cannot advance this. So right where Lee recovered the ball, comes back out okay. to the three-yard line. Excellent job by Jack Wood explaining the rule. Now the BYU fans for a second thought we're getting the ball back. No, you still keep it. You just can't advance it unless the kicking team actually possesses it. It's the plane of the goal line. First and ten. Heaps with a play fake. Pressure. He fumbles it. It's loose again. Trevor Riley might have been the first guy there for Utah. He made the hit. And it's Utah football on the six-yard line. Another calamitous turnover for BYU. Fifth turnover of the night. Well, we saw earlier the great pickup, blitz pickup by Utah. That time, because of the play fake, Brian Correa has me. So I think at some point you've got to get some of those guys some, some game action. And this pass tipped and intercepted. 
Utah's defense with another pick. And talking a little bit of trash. That was Quade Chappie, of course. J.D. Falsley had it go off his hands. Well, when this stuff starts going wrong, the only thing you can hope is BYU, if you're a fan, they're able to put this behind them as quickly as possible tomorrow. Man was talking about how he's a super confident guy. Backside pressure, and they turned him loose on the sack. Didn't quite hear a whistle. The Hoko. Waiting for the signal. Touchdown, Utah. Trevor Riley made the hit. Touchdown, Utah. VJ Fehoko. And, of course, Trevor Riley forced the fumble early on Jake Heaps on the missed blitz. This time completely missed. That ball was out, and that yeah. is a pickup and a touchdown. Nice job of the officials not blowing the whistle. Right. Yep. And, and they should review it, but give a lot of credit. This crew has done a wonderful job tonight.